Hi guys, how is it going? It's Lan here and today I'm going to go through a list of 5 things that are interesting to grow in a hydroponic system. Any of you who bought a hydroponic system in the past, like an aero garden, I harvest or a garden, the manufacturers usually include easy to grow plants like lettuces and herbs. Without a doubt, lettuces and herbs do super well in a hydroponic environment. That's why the vendors include them so that for the beginner. But today I'm going to give you a list that's unconventional that you can step up your game and grow something interesting. All right, let's grab your coffee, tea or whatever that gets you going and we can get started together. The first plant I want to introduce you today is bush bean and the variety I grew was French mascot. I highly, highly recommend this variety. I tried it in my eye harvest a while ago and it took less than two months from seedlings to harvesting. The reason I like this bush bean variety is because it is a very compact plant. It has upright growing habit up to only 12 inches. It does not take up too much space. A very prolific plant that produces tons of beans. Both eye harvest and garden can accommodate up to 30 plants. If you can't decide which system you should purchase, please check out my comparison video among different models. I'm going to link everything in the description below, so please check it out after this video. Now, let's move on to the next one. The second plant I recommend you to try is cucumber. And the variety I planted was um, called Persian cucumber. Again, I chose the eye harvest to grow the cucumbers because cucumbers have large root system and eye harvest has a big reservoir. That way, I didn't have to refill the water too often. You can still grow cucumbers in other systems. To grow cucumber, you would need to set up a trellis. I have five cucumber plants right here and they are super fun to grow. You can harvest them about 70 days since the day that you put out the seed. If you want to see the nitty gritty of how I grow these guys right here, I made a separate video on it. Please check it out. All right, the third one I recommend you to grow is my favorite personally. It is flower. When it's cold and gloomy outside, I'm still be able to enjoy the flowers indoor. I grew a full tower of flowers in a garden. Petunia is my favorite flowers to grow due to the explosion of colors, which reminds me of summer. It's really a privilege to enjoy summer flowers on a snowy day. Other things you can grow is calendula, snapdragon, aster, viola, pansy, terrania, anything really. Though I have not tried mini roses yet, that's what I will attempt at some point. I know that some people have successfully did it. Isn't that wonderful to have a mini rose garden indoor? Ah, the dream. Okay, the four plants you definitely have to try is strawberry. I have grown strawberries across all hydroponic system and have come to a conclusion. Ready? Forget about growing strawberry from seeds. Growing strawberries from bare roots is so much, so much faster. You can harvest a red, ripe, and juicy strawberry like this in four weeks. You can buy the bare roots from Etsy or Amazon. I got mine from Etsy, and this variety is called Seascape. They look pathetic when they first arrived, and I was very skeptical about it. But after you clean up all the dirt and soak them overnight, and then they came back alive. Another thing is that make sure you buy the ever bearing variety so that they give you strawberries year round. The one I'm growing here is called Seascape. You definitely should try various variety. They even have the yellow strawberries available to be purchased. Let me know which one is your favorite to grow. I really want to know. The fifth one, the last but not least, plants that I recommend you to grow is hot peppers. The one I'm growing is mini Thai pepper. Although the starting kit usually includes some kind of pepper like jalapeno or bell pepper, I wish they include something like this. Because this Thai pepper is spicy and the aroma is amazing. 
It's also a very prolific pepper. I'm growing these in Arrow Garden Bounty Basic. I've had this for over 200 days and they just keep on giving. I used to buy frozen hot peppers from Asian grocery store. If you eat Thai peppers and love Asian food, you know what I'm talking about. But now, I only eat fresh peppers. I don't play the frozen game anymore. Mm -mm, not in this house. I hope you guys like today's video and find it helpful in any way. If you grew anything interesting that I didn't mention in my list, please let me know in the comment below. And for those of you who try the things that I mentioned, let me know how you do. And if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button for future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!